Today, I'm going to be breaking down Safe Haven by Omar Lay, where, as usual, I'll be talking you through the various things that I'm picking up on as we go through it. In terms of theme and message of the song, this track is all about living life in the fast lane. From the hustle to the fame to the potential pitfalls and how Omar Lay finds security in that. Now, before we go ahead and get into the video, just one final thing. If you have a track or an artist that you would like me to review, break down, whatever it is that you want to call it, go ahead, pop that into the comments below. Let's get it. Okay, this absolutely bangs, bro. It bangs, right? I love the feel and the vibe of it. I can already tell the road that we're going down with this, with this track here, right? Those lead guitars providing the main melody, they bang, right? And if you pay attention, we get an additional layer of guitars coming in, just adding a nice additional touch. We get a transition, quite a big one as well. It's quite prominent in the track. We then get the beat and we got the bass. That bass is not hitting every time. It's only hitting every now and again. But then we get the vocals, man. And what they're doing with the vocals, the way that they're, you know, whether it's reverb, echo, delay, whatever it is that they've put on them, right? It's just doing a really good job of adding depth to the track and creating that sense of space. And another thing that I noticed here as well, which I think was a cool little sound to add in to kind of um, create almost a little bit of ambience was we get this spooky little noise and it only appears, right, it's very subtle, so you have to listen half for it, but it only appears shortly, but it hits almost bang on when the transition occurs, right? I'm taking that back, man, because that just bangs me. Lead guitars there. Additional ones coming in now. Listen. Listen to that, man. Transition. Right, you hear that spooky little noise, man? Listen. Yeah. Okay, chorus absolutely bangs. They've used the transition right as a nice way to kind of take us out of the post chorus, bring us into the chorus. The chorus is big, it's fat. I mean, those vocals, man. It's like, like, they're like choir vocals, right? And it can, you can imagine, it kind of feels like you're in a massive hall. Do you know what I mean? And it's really powerful when they come through. They've been just stacked. And yeah, bro, bangs. Listen. Oh, big those vocals are, man. transition okay right <laughs> okay so we, we've had that transition now obviously transitions are big in this right they're using these Big, big, big transitions, really prominent within the track to shift us, whether it be from the pre-chorus into the chorus and the chorus, then into the verse. Pay attention to what's going on in the verse here, right? L we've had a complete switch up in cadence. You listen to the post-chorus, you listen to the chorus. Vocals, big, wide, heavily layered, reverb, all of this sort of stuff. But then you get into the verse, the flow is different, right? The, the tone is different as well. And what that does is gives you a, a, almost like this sense of a bit more of a kind of deeper reflective kind of feel to the track 
Do you know what I mean? So yeah, absolutely spot on. This. Oh, and by the way, that spooky sound is now much more frequent within the track as well. You hear it a lot more. Doo -doo, like this, right? Just listen. So you wanna know my mind now? When I the you wanna know inside out? I'll tell you what the right time. I'll tell you how I'm for you to follow help me Okay, that's actually, again, they're, they're using that to transition us, right? They're being, they're being, I mean, the, 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 the normal transition, these big rises and hits and all this sort of stuff, you know, that's pretty standard in tracks, right? Uh, not all tracks, but just generally speaking. But they've used that um, footage there of him being on stage, obviously being on tour, all that sort of stuff, again, to kind of transition us. But pay attention to what happens after that. You notice that we almost go back to the intro, right? Because we've got no beat, we've got no bass, we've got no, it's literally just the guitars, man. And we've got Omar Lay's vocals in. Just, just, just listen. <laughs> Clips as well. I'm living fast. You can't stop me. My neck is size and Roman chocolate. Everything's back in now. Okay, perfect way with a track like this to give us the second verse. What you notice is it sounds nothing like the pre chorus, nothing like the chorus, and it's miles away from the first verse, from the cadence in the in the in the first verse, right? And also what you notice is instrumentally it's been stripped uh, it's been stripped back, right? No beat, no bass, no nothing like that, right? So it's, we've got the second verse, but it's a completely different approach to what we've had throughout the rest of the track. The only thing that's kind of, you know, remains the same is obviously those guitars, because that's driving the melody, right? Just listen to that, man. Yes. Ad libs as well. Bangs, absolutely bangs. Okay, that's it for me. If you want to see more reaction and analysis videos, go ahead. There'll be things popping up on the screen right now. Other than that, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will see you in the next one.